This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... When I talk about comets, the possibilities are binary. Either people get happy, or people get butthurt. Well, I aim to please. It's to bring out the box of butthurt. Because we are talking about brand new comet, Jacques Cousteau E2. No, not that Jacques Cousteau. The Bill Murray one, of course. So yeah, as we're watching here, we got Comet E2 Jacques Cousteau. Yeah, it looks like it's going to hit Mercury. Kind of looks like it's going to hit Venus. Earth's going to get a very close pass to it. But there's no doom. Mars is going to get a close pass to it. Hey, man, maybe it's a cargo ship dropping off Martian women to each planet. All right, so as I said, this comet is coming very close to Mars, pretty close to Mercury, super close to Venus, and kind of close to Earth. But you know what? As Pro Psy has guaranteed us, close to Mars. Again, no doom will ever come from space, ever. So even though it looks like it's coming close to every single intersolar system planet, that is a good thing. That just means it's going to drop its nutrient dust on our planet and maybe help fight the global climate warming change. Now, once again, this comet has what we call a totally unknown origin. Um, we don't know where it came from. Nobody really cares, man. Those aren't the important things. Well, Jacques is pretty cool because A, it's making a pass throughout the inner solar system, coming relatively close to all of the planets. And the truth about comets is that nobody ever knows what they're really gonna do. And Thor at Thor News is really just hoping for an amazing celestial show in the sky. That's what started me doing comet videos. And now, more than ever, I just like to see one in the sky that's pretty cool. But that makes people mad. Whatever. People just like to be mad nowadays. It's like people are addicted to being butt hurt. Like, why? That sounds painful and unenjoyable. We got some pictures, photographs of this comet. She looks kind of big, though. Besides discussions throughout astronomy of how big comets nucleuses or nuclei really are, it's not a knife fight I want to get into just yet. I don't plan on doing a million videos on this comet unless something, you know, really cool or interesting happens with it. So I pointed out, one of the things I like about comets is their orbit. The fact that we don't know where this came from, and it came from way, way far away, I'm guessing like at least 100 AUs, you know, out in the... No brown dwarf areas allowed. And just the fact that it looks like at its widest orbit, you know, the, the distance between the in and at orbit point looks at maximum. is probably like three of our solar systems. You know, it's, it's interesting stuff. But the people who are in charge of astronomy don't want us talking about astronomy. They want us spending that science of brain power fighting the climate from changing. So get on that, people. Hey, I got an idea. Let us kick on over to the universe today to verify that this is a verifiable story and a real deal holy field. Comet meaning probably total dud, but we really don't know. Comets are like magic cat dragon snakes that are on fire and do whatever they want. Asterisk? Congratulations to Christ o va o Jacos, Jacques, and the Sun Ear team. Let the ear of the sun conspiracies begin. <laughs> Exclamation point. On March 13th, they snared C-2014 E2 Jacques in CCD images taken with a 0.5 meter wide field reflector at the Southern Observatory for Near Earth Asteroids Research. It's near Oliveira, Brazil. I hear Brazilian women like to read. I don't even know what that means. A very preliminary orbit, meaning we just found it, we're just now crunching numbers, indicates its closest approach to the sun will occur on June 29th at a distance of 56 million miles, followed two weeks later by a relatively close flyby of Venus at 0.09 astronomical units, or 8.4 million miles. If a comet approached Earth this closely so soon after perihelion, it would be a magnificent sight, which means it would be a total dud. Ha! <laughs> Jaded! Of course, watching from Venus isn't recommended. Why not? Even if we could withstand its extreme heat and pressure cooker atmosphere, the planet's perpetual cloud cover guarantees overcast skies 24-7. Well, that sucks. Hey, look, Selena Gomez in the story. Forcing herself in. I know it's you, Selena. I'm just kidding. It's probably a Selena clone. Comet Jacques E2 will travel across the deep southern sky. Man, it is the team's second comet discovery this year after turning up C2014A4 in January. There's some common fighting fools. Over the next few nights, it straddles the border with Hydra and a Caribbean island. What? Weird. Comet Jaquez exhibits a dense, fairly bright two arc minute coma or cometary atmosphere with a short northward pointing tail. 
Rightness estimates have been hard to come by. Well, somebody asked Dr. Astro. But it appears the count might be around magnitude plus 11.5 or such. One thing is for certain. In the coming weeks, E2 will be approaching both the Earth and the Sun and brightening as it slowly gains altitude in the evening sky. Man, it ain't for certain things can brighten. You die right now, man. Why you guys say stuff like that? Get away with it. Yet I say something that isn't correct. People jump all over my poop. And I'm like, why are you jumping in my poop? That is totally gross. Close approach to Earth, August 29th, 30th, 54 million miles away. Could be binocular bright. Which means it won't. We'll see. Can't wait till my jadedness is wrong. It will join Comet Auka Maiden. Predicted to reach binocular visibility in late August. Peace out! Thanks, Bob King. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a brand new comet. Comet C2014E2 in the C in front of the slash stands for comet. So when I say C, when I say comet C2014E2, I really mean comet, comet. Which I guess is fine because it's got two E's. Why can't I have two comets? They found this bad boy on the 13th of March. It is now the 15th. There is no doom whatsoever involved with this comet. It's just very interesting, as all comets are. But that does not stop the pro science community, the amateur pro science community, and the professional amateur troll pro science community from being pre butthurt about the influx and tidal wave of, oh my god, doom, this comet is gonna kill us videos. They've already started slandering people ahead of time. And if I understand things correctly, only professional science, or only professional amateur science, or only professional amateur troll science is allowed to talk about astronomy, man. They get real mad if anybody else joins the conversation. Unless you're giving numbers or orbitals, they're going to start bleeding out their butt and whining out their mouth. Anyway, this is an interesting comet. As we learn through professional science, no comet is ever larger than your fist. See, what happens is that, that fist size... Comet Nucleus creates something, you know, more gigantic, enormous than Jupiter or Mars or Earth. But that's just quantum physics, man. And quantum physics works exceptionally well in two phases. One, the Big Bang, when nothing creates everything. And two, in comets, where something the size of your fist can create something 300 miles long, 100 miles wide. Now don't question it. You shall get trolled all day, every day. And you don't want that shit, man. Science has more important things to do, like, you know, regulate climate change. No, wait, I changed my mind. There's going to be some doom. Jacos is going to hit Venus. So it's only going to be doomy for the Venetians. Nah, it's probably going to miss Venus. But it's coming off the close, don't you think? Okay, great. To fight climate change, trying to create a green pill, which keeps human beings from farting and cows and animals from farting. To reduce the methane in the world. Though it makes me sad, because I have to admit, every once in a while, farting feels fun. Like, you're letting one out, man, that feels good. <laughs> no, it's funny for some reason. It feels good too sometimes. Anywho, enough talk about farts and astronomy. Have a great weekend. Peace out. The stars in the sky, southern light. We'll see. All right, cool.